All right, this lesson 5.5, five, the Poisson distribution. And uh, here's an example. Here's the formula, first of all. P of x comma lambda equals e to the negative lambda times lambda to the x over x factorial. So that fancy Greek letter is the Greek letter lambda. And um, it represents an average, all right? This formula gives the probability of x occurrences when the average is lambda occurrences. So here's my example. A company receives one complaint out of every 500 sales it makes. Not bad. If the company makes 3,000 sales per year, what is the probability it will receive seven complaints in a year? So we want the probability of seven complaints. X is what you're trying to find the probability of. So my X is seven. Probability of seven complaints. Now, lambda would be the average number of complaints they should expect. All right? Now, they get one complaint out of every 500 sales. So, on average, they get one out of 500, one complaint out of 500 sales. But here we're talking about 3,000 sales. So, if we take one over 500 times 3,000, in other words, 3,000 divided by 500, that'll tell us their average number of complaints they should get on 3,000 sales. So if you multiply 1 500th, that's your probability of a, 1 500th is the probability of a complaint times the total number of sales. You end up with six complaints on average. So really what we're trying to figure out is if you have 3,000 sales in a year, and the average number of complaints should be six, what's the probability we'll get seven complaints? Pretty tough to figure out without this formula. So you're going to take E. E is um, the number it's named after Euler. It's about 2.7, approximately. It's a special number, kind of like pi. Do we have to use 2.7, or should we just? Use the E button on your calculator. E is one of those numbers that goes on forever, never repeats. It's called an irrational number. So there's no way you could ever type in all the decimals. But the calculator has um, a whole bunch of decimals programmed into it. If you hit second divide on your graphing calculator, you'll have an E. So you're going to take E, which is second divide on your calculator, to the negative lambda, so that's to the negative sixth power, times lambda, which we said was six, to the x power, which is seven, divided by x factorial, 7 factorial. So we'll type that on our calculator and see what we get. So I'm going to take this off. So it's e to the negative 6 times 6 to the 7th divided by 7 factorial. So again, it's second divide as your e to the power of, what did I say, negative 6? So that's that decimal, times 6 to the 7th power, gives me that answer, and then divide by 7 factorial. Point 0.138, I'll round it to. Any questions about how I type that in? So when the average is six um, complaints, the probability that they're going to get seven is 0.138. So you know, if a new, a new, say a new um, supervisor comes in and you get seven complaints, you're thinking, wow, you know, maybe this supervisor isn't doing a good job. Well, there's about a 14% chance, 13.8% chance that that person was going to have seven complaints when the average is six. So. Not that unlikely, really. I mean, it's unlikely, but not very unlikely. Next, what's the probability the company will receive two or more complaints in a year? Well, two or more. We know the average is six. So let's see. The probability of two complaints when the average is six would be written like that. Plus two or more.